quick. My day job to get a CDL class A. You didn't know CDL class A for 18 women. I was recently working at a plastic making factory. If you're from Louisiana, the area I know you should be familiar with dairy plastic. 12 hour shift. Start you off with $11 an hour. And I quit them up. Why? 12 hours in the factory, to me, that shit can be depressing. And I feel like I'm taking too much time out of my day. That's just me personally. I'm taking too much time out of my day. And there wasn't enough income for me for me to just, you know, strive out here on my own. So, I just have to quit that motherfucker. Get my CDS. And I also want to be my own boss. Start my own business. And truck drivers get paid a decent amount of money. You, you can you can even become a billionaire. Start a new truck business. That's pretty much my goal. I was recommended by my uncle. My uncle. I told him, I'm young, I should, I should try that, so I took heed to him, I know he won't tell me nothing wrong. And another thing, a job, I don't like nobody just standing over my shoulder telling me what to do all the time, and I don't like being, gotta watch over my shoulder all the time. I can't pull my phone out, like, I can work without my phone, but the rules is too damn strict. I felt like I was in a school. I mean, if I wanted to go to school, I would have went to college or something. But I don't do that. I just feel like that's a better plan for me. As a whole, I was tired of working jobs. I wanted to find me a, a career that have me financially stable. So what I do is attend to, you know, start dating seriously and have kids in the future. I'll be able to provide without stressing, breaking my back, you know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like as a man, I feel like this for all men. You need some type of certification, or some type of trade, or something that, something that make you, yourself valuable, because jobs ain't what it do for. Me is not for what it's gonna do. It's not what it do. For you, it might work out fine for you, but me personally, and I know some other people, jobs ain't really what they supposed to do. So, and plus, they pay good, and I need something that I can, you know, depend on for my future. You can't depend on a job. Once you don't, once, once, you, once you do something bad, got four, five, six strikes, that gets you out of there. If you have a trade or something, you can, you can find you something quick. Because your hands or whatever you're doing, your certification is valuable to the world. And everybody needs a trade as a man. To me, every man should have a trade or some type of certification. And personally, I want better for myself. And I feel like a job is keeping me at a minimum. I feel like I'll never go where I want to be working a job. And with TDL, I can work for myself. I plan on buying my own truck, starting my own trucking business. In a few years down the line, you know, I can probably hire other people to work for me. Stuff like that. So, the CDL uh, class I'm taking is in Springfield, Missouri. It's called Prime Inc. If anybody interested in going to Prime Inc., I'm going to tell you the steps that you got to do. First, First things first, before you do anything. If you're a heavy smoker, stop smoking. My best friend, shit, friend ain't even a word. Like my brother passed away a couple of weeks ago and I was smoking heavy. But I had to cut it because I got to look forward. Can't let the past bring me down. Even though he gonna live, live with me forever and I'm gonna take him with me everywhere I go. But I had to, cut the weed short but that's the first thing you need to do 
when it comes to getting ready to get your CDLs. Cut out the smoking. All right, once you get done smoking, you go to the DMV. Tell them you want to take your CDL Class A permit. You study. It's an app. Let me put the app right here so you can see it. It's an app. It's general knowledge, air brakes, combination. It's not hard. 40 questions for general knowledge, 25 for air brakes, and 25 for combinations. Study, 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 study. Because that's what it's going to take for you to get to the next step. You got to study, 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 study. And then you'll get your CDL permit. Not permit. Well, yeah, permit. Your CDL Class 8 permit. And after you get your permit, then you go to a, a nursing clinic or something, and you get you a DOT physical. Now listen, they do drug test you, so that's why I said the first thing you need to do, cut out smoking. No more smoking. In order for you to take the next step, I mean, if we that important to you, that it'll stop you from getting your job accomplished, then it's not for you. But... If you if your mind's strong enough to cut out all that shit, cut it out. It'll be worth it, cuz. If you pay me to stop smoking, and you pay me to be stable in my life, and it's gonna take me to the next level, the weed gonna be there whenever you retire and all that. So, we shouldn't be your main priority. It should be yourself. You need self-discipline and strong mental. Weak right here, you will never make it nowhere in life. That's just simple. And after you get your DOT physical, you want to go to the Prime Inc. website. You call them. Tell them you want to enroll. I don't know how long it's going to be free, but the classes are free. They pay for everything. They pay for the bus ticket. So you just get out there. They're going to drill test you when you get out there on spot. See? I leave out on the 11th. So I'll be taking my journey. I'm located in Louisiana, so right now I'm in the process of just getting my mind right, staying focused, and staying clean, stop smoking, keeping the smoke out of my mind. It should take you, me personally, and it don't, it don't, it, it depends on how strong your mind is. It takes me five to ten days to cut a habit. The average person it takes 21 to 30 days to cut a habit, bad habit at that. But you gotta keep yourself busy. If you sit around all day playing the game, just bullshitting with your time, you gonna wanna smoke because you ain't doing shit. You gotta find something to do every day and be productive. So every morning I get up, write my workout routine down, do it. Drink my fluids, get on my stuff that I need to get on, and focus. And after you get done doing your DLT system, well, I said to you. You call them, tell them you want to enroll in the class. You fill out an application. They're going to do your work history for the past three years. They're going to assign you a recruiter. You tell the recruiter when you want to start, what position you want to do. I'm doing flatbed. They say flatbed get paid the most money because they do a little more physical work just because you're scrapping things down on the truck. But the danger is you got to make sure everything is sealed and tight so nothing fall you don't want nothing falling all over the road. Tankers make a lot of money too, but I don't know if they do tanker class. And that's a big risk too. But that's pretty much all you gotta do. Once you get done calling the recruiter, the recruiter gonna call you back, tell you if everything's good, gonna background test you, and he's gonna tell you when you give your bus ticket, they pay for the bus ticket, they do all that. And all you gotta do is keep the system clean. That's all you gotta do. If you can't do that, you got a real problem. As a man, you got a real problem. You can't do that. So, I'm going to be leaving out in a, a little bit. A couple of days, two weeks from now. And I'm going to be taking y'all on a journey. So, hit the like button. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know what y'all think. Hope I see y'all soon.